In this video, I'm going to show you can generate a PDF and then send it via email from your Bubble app. You'll see here that I have a small sales report on my Bubble application. It has some text, a chart, and some additional text. And when I click this send report via email button, I'm triggering a workflow action that's going to create a PDF of that report and then send it to this Gmail account that I've set up. You'll see here we're just after getting a message. And if we click on that, we'll see that we have the report that was in our bubble app attached to the email. The first thing you're going to need to do is install the PDF Creator plugin. I already have it installed here. You can see I'm in the plugins tab of my bubble editor. And if you don't have it installed, you can click on add plugins, search for PDF Creator, and it should come up. This is a paid plugin, so you can either purchase a lifetime license or subscribe to it on a monthly basis. Once you have the PDF Creator plugin installed, you're going to have access to the PDF Creator element here in your bubble editor. So you're going to need to drop that somewhere on your screen. Now, you can see here it is showing up. What I will say is this is not going to actually be visible to the end user. And what you can do if you wish, you can set the height and the width of that to be one and one pixel. But you must make sure that if this element is visible on page load option is ticked, otherwise the plugin will not function. It's going to put it down at the end of the page. One last step before we actually get into the workflow behind generating the PDF and sending it via email. And that's if we go to the settings tab of our bubble editor, we're going to need to enable the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. So you can see here under advanced options right down the end of that page, I already have this ticked, but again, just make sure you have that box ticked so that we can generate our PDFs. Once you have that ticked, let's go back to the design tab. And the report that I want to send via email is the sales report here. And if you see what we have on screen at the moment, it's a group. It contains some text elements, an image, a chart. And we want to send this group essentially to our email via a PDF. So I'm going to click on this group and I'm going to add an ID attribute to this element. And I'm simply going to call this sales report. And we can now use this to tell the PDF creator plugin that this is the element we want to generate a PDF of. So I'm going to go back up to my button, which is on the top of my page, the send report by email button. I'm going to click on that, add a workflow. And because we've installed the PDF creator plugin, we now have access to these actions down here, specifically the generate a PDF creator action. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to quickly fill out some of the fields here. The key field is this ID attributes field because we want to let the plugin know that it's the sales report that we want to target. So I'm simply going to type in the exact same ID attribute that I gave to my target group. I'm going to call the file sales report. I'll put a date on it as well. Put in the current date and time and format it as that. I'm not going to want the user to download this PDF in their browser. We want to send it to an email. So I'm going to set auto download to no. You could leave it as yes and download it and send it via email, but I'm going to set it as no for now. I am going to save it to my bubble database. So I'm going to leave that as yes. And then the scale. So if you read the documentation here, this is essentially going to decide on the quality of the PDF. I usually recommend starting off with two, which is one of the lower values, and adjusting upwards if you need to. The trade-off involved is if you go for a really high value, you will get a higher quality PDF, but it'll take longer to run and it'll also be a bigger file size. So let's just stick with that for a second and then we can come back and finish off that workflow. I'm going to refresh my bubble app. I'm going to click on the send report by email button and you can see something was happening there. Now we haven't actually sent an email yet, but if we go into our bubble database and we look at file manager, we will see that we have a new sales report as of the current date. And if we click on that, we are indeed getting a report like we wanted. So what we need to do now is send this via an email. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a custom event that comes with the plugin. So again, if we go back to our workflow and if we click on another click here to add an event, we should see under elements, we have this option here, a PDF creator saved to database. So what this event is going to do is it's going to trigger the workflow action we define here every time a PDF is saved to the database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here to add an action. I'm going to go to email 
I'm going to send email and then I can fill out these fields. I've created a dummy email account just for the purpose of this tutorial, so I'll put in that address. Sender name will just send as sales rep. Subject would be this month's sales report. And I'll just put in some text as well for the body. And now this is where we actually attach the PDF to the email. What we could do is rather than attach it, we could actually put in a link to it in the email body. So let's maybe just do that first. What you could do is you would say insert dynamic data, this PDF creator's URL. I'm just gonna put an extra space there. And let's try this workflow action first of all, and then we can come back and actually attach it to the email rather than just giving it a link. So we'll click on send report via email. We can see we're running our workflow action in the background there. And if I go over to my Gmail, I'm hopefully going to see a brand new email pop in, which I have. And you can see in it, we have the text that we'd put in the email and then also a URL link. If we click on that, we are indeed brought to our PDF report. But now let's try and attach this to the email rather than just putting in a link. So what we can do is in that workflow when we're saying when PDF creator saves the database, rather than put the URL there, what we can do is we can click on attach file and an attach file we can say this PDF creator's URL again. So let's try that one now. Click on our send report by email button again and see our workflow action working away there and if we go back to our inbox you can see here we've just gotten a new message and same text but this time you'll see the pdf is actually attached to it so that's how you send pdfs via an email from the google app